Ah yes, look at those clouds. As the recording of this, it is Saturday, April 2nd, 2022, about 1.40, well, 1.32 p.m. to be precise. And I'm getting off the exit here of the Turnpike, heading to Wildwood, Florida. There is now a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Should be an interesting day. A perfect afternoon for Swamp Fest. Located right here in Central Florida. This is going to be an experience, to say the least. Tickets were $30. I purchased them ahead of time. They said rain or shine, and it's going to be in the mud. I will be very muddy and wet and rainy at the end of the day. Right now, I'm probably the driest I will be at the course of the day. Already seeing some of the outdoor events over here taking place, but there is some indoor action, it appears, as well. I'm just waiting to go in here to park. You see there's also gonna be some stuff inside, so maybe we'll congregate over there. But from what I've been seeing info about this, there's a lot taking place outside. I did not bring a poncho, I do have my umbrella. This gentleman going the extra mile and just wearing a garbage bag instead of a poncho. I think I just saw lightning. That's probably a good idea, just wear a garbage bag. And it's pretty much just a park anywhere. They checked my ticket and it is, yeah, just kind of find a parking spot anywhere you can find parking. Already it seems to be a beehive of activity inside and a lot of people camped over there at that far end. And I just saw a couple pretty good lightning strikes over that way. Yeah, everyone's either on bicycles. Sure about my bike. I don't know if there's any sweet slides out here, but I didn't, did not bring my bicycle. I'm just going to be a, an onlooker. Oh, what could go wrong? What could go wrong out here? Welcome everyone. Adam DeWu here. Of course, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Oh, it seems to be there's something happening here already. Yeah, this is already, this is already going down. starting to flicker flicker off and on the lights in here so it's yeah it's storming out there pretty hard i, I was not expecting this many people to be at this it's kind of flew underneath my radar just found out about this morning pretty dang awesome this is awesome oh we got some some of lighting off some fireworks here into the into the crowd outside they have a hose here and they're filling up this little, little trench looks like maybe some people are going to be utilizing this little obstacle as well this is being filled up here probably shouldn't be stepping stepping right underneath the rail where all the bikers are kind of either you know going down the little rail slide and doing their their jumps and stuff but and then especially since a lot of them are keep falling off the side and it's probably like no one's no one's broken anything yet as far as i can tell i, I would probably you know break a kneecap or an arm or something but 
probably a little too, little too old to be doing this and don't have the talent on a bike, as proven by the bike slide. But I think this competition is just about to end, and right after this competition ends, I'm going to do the swamp rail. Looking forward to the swamp rail. I think this is about the end of, of this one, and on to the next. slinging mud. This guy just made it out of the pond without even getting wet.
happening right now. Oh, Scary. Gotta shoot him out. A chunk of shrapnel like hit my shoot arm. Please, 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 please. I mean if that lands in your eye, it's like Another game over. Dick, those were not those were not sparklers. And if you see someone shooting fireworks, please don't kill. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. What the heck just happened? Uh, break the window! That went off the rails. Stop on the fireworks now. Stop on the fireworks now. Like I said, stop on the fireworks or they will arrest you. Please, stop. An event. I was actually kind of scared there for a minute. That was kind of frightening. Look at this. This is all from fireworks through here. Once again, not like mellow sparklers or even like bottle rockers. These are like these were like next level explosives. It is like smoke central in here. Smoke city. Just lingering. I think everyone's standing around in con complete confusion on what's happening now. Oh yeah, there are some vendors here too. A few vendors. Maybe even a little snack area? I'm not really sure. But there are some, some vendors and t-shirts and things like that. And here's the t-shirts. A little monster truck there with the gator driving it. Grim Reaper. And 
tell what the other one on the end is. It almost looks like the Offspring album cover, but a little bit different. There's another shirt over here. Check this out, the Bad Boy Club. You don't see too many Bad Boy Club tees anymore.
That thing ain't going nowhere. Wow, this cable's gonna snap and take out an eye. Okay, we got someone digging a hole. Major cheers right now. I got a hand to this guy taking the John Deere, driving it right into that little puddle. And I caught it on film, which is pretty entertaining. Maybe one of the motorcycles is going to go in. Nope, the John Deere did. Look at that. this big puddle and the other big puddle just to make more water down there. going to do it for today from Swamp Fest, Florida's Swamp Fest. I'm getting rained on, but that's it. Quite an event. I will return next year. This might be a tradition if I'm in town. It was quite an experience and all in all, even though it seemed a little kind of went off the rails, it was fun. Talk to the owner for, well, not the owner, but the guy who organized the event a little bit inside. And he was the one that made the announcement about stop, you know, utilizing the fireworks. And once he made that statement, everyone did. It was definitely entertaining. Florida Swamp Fest. I'm getting rained on. See you in the next video. I do have my umbrella, but I left it in the car that's sitting right next to me. The vlog is 